Okay, it just happens to be uh, Saturday afternoon, September 28th, 2013. Can you dig that, brother? I know I can dig it. I can dig it, you can dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. We all can dig it, and it happens to be officially autumn. Last time we were here, it was like, uh, it was about a 24 hours, give or take, before autumn. But it is now officially autumn, and uh, we're doing all natural, as you can see. Well, I'm, gla ain't out yet. I'm glad it's uh, overcast today because when we do all natural and the sun is blazing, it causes glare in our video quality, which really pisses me off. But anyway, welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna. I'm coming to you, well, we are coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and I will now officially pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor. Don't wake, wake, don't wake the door. I hope not. Oh yeah, then we gotta shut the door. I, well, let's not, don't say D-O-G too loud. Knock on wood. D-O-G spelled backwards is God. Not when it interferes with my production, it ain't God. It's God. It's Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Oh, authentic bosun's whistle. Pipe. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. No pun intended. Yeah, good, 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 good. Arr, arr, matey. Welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman himself. How are you feeling today? Besides with your hands. I woke up this morning. I'm still here. Good. That's good enough for me. Um, Much to the chagrin. Chagrin. I like my that word. enemies. Oh yeah. Of which I have a few. Well, anybody who speaks the real hard-hitting truth is bound to have some enemies. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a C and enemy. And enemies. Enemies. Oh, I said it too soon. Here come the sun. Here comes the sun. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Do, do 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 Like the song, yeah. Well, hopefully we won't get too much glare and noise. Otherwise, we have to batten down the hatches. But anyway, um, you know, speaking of Bosun's Whistle, there's an actual craft beer called uh, Bosun's Whistler with a forward, with a cartoon of a sailor chick, blonde haired with big boobs, uh, hanging out. Bosun's Whistler craft beer. I thought it was cute. I sent you the uh, picture. I don't know. I don't even know if you I got. I didn't see no picture. Okay. I was at Facebook last night. I didn't see no. Uh, put a I think I shared a couple of things last night. Oh, you did. I noticed yeah. you did. We have uh, every day. We ha we put very deep, hard-hitting messages on the on the Facebook uh, on the newsletter censored Facebook page as well as our group. Uh, progressive uh, discussions group. Yes, we have a group based on the show, and uh, I, I am very happy that Dr. Bill intercepted them. Now, and by the way, every day, yeah, those conservative friends of mine put up junk. I noticed that the 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 um, Facebook page called Being Liberal. I don't get that from Left Actions page, but I get it from being liberal. For some reason, they're all the right-wing teabagger flamers, the trolls, always intercept my posts on mm -hmm. being liberal. But they never have any cold, hard, scientific, bona fide proof to back up what they have to say. They don't. Well, you saw Mr. Ted Cruz the other day. I mean, he had to read Dr. Seuss. What the hell facts does he have? That's the know? most brilliant thing that a Republican can, can is capable of doing. I wonder if he Dr. understood Seuss. Dr. Seuss. I don't think so. Well, they're they're kind of like puppets for for the elitists. They're not they're not really they don't really have to have any intelligence, a right winger. 
you know they just have to uh, allow the puppet the marionette strings to be pulled you know but uh, there's so much I don't have a monologue because I figure a lot of it is on our page online you know uh, um, on, fa on Facebook so you can you can read a lot of the uh, the, the gems there uh, the newsletter censored page look it up um, and I am Mega Life 21 of course my page and then the group is progressive discussions group and we have a group called holistic health talk which ha by yours truly which is on the air now uh, mr. Uh, dr. bones McCoy over here is in full view so now you could see him oh he's right next to V for vendetta the mr. anonymous mask the two of them are very applicable for today, for the, the end times that we're in. <laughs> very applicable. So I guess hopefully you can see the both of them. Anyway, you know, Cher, uh, 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 bless her heart, she looks great for her age. Cher was on David Letterman's show uh, recently. And she said something that I've been thinking for a long time, and, and, and it made a lot of sense. She was talking about the common custom of saying hello how are you or hello what's up or really, how you doing or you're really not seeking an answer you you really don't want the the answer to that <laughs> and share mm -hmm. said you know what next time from when people ask me that now I just tell them how I am and they start walking away <laughs> like 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 um Cher said to David Letterman, I asked you how you were and you said you're good. I want you to tell me, and on this show, I want you to tell me how you really are. How are you for real, David? David told her, well, I haven't been feeling well, blah, et cetera, et cetera, uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. So Cher says, that's what I want to hear. That's, but that's refreshing honesty instead of just hearing, I'm great. You know, people give you that thumbs up. Oh, I'm just wonderful. Could be better. Yeah, but they sometimes... They all lie. Most times they don't answer. You say, how are you, and that's it. It's like a greeting. In other words, they consolidate, how, I, I'm fine with the hello. They put it all into, like, hello, I haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? And you go, eh. They, you either say, I'm great, I'm good, or, or same old, same old, or, you know, uh, uh, hanging in there. Hanging in there it means that you're you're having some personal issues. Ooh. Something's going on. When they say I'm hanging in there it means I'm getting by or I'm surviving. You know, but but you know, it's a stupid custom. I agree with Cher. I mean uh the I disagree with Cher in her uh -oh. defense of Miley Cyrus. Oh Every, everybody's calling her brilliant and, and she's and she's doing it all just to get attention but you know something when they interview her what comes out of her mouth is it coincides well, she's only 20 years I'm old. not done yet she's an adult isn't she not till 21 she it, what she says in an interview coincides with her behavior on stage that's it I I, I, I don't need I don't have to say anymore yeah but here's the thing your actresses and actors and those people in the limelight and etc. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as bad publicity. In other words, they infamy. need to get the face time and they'll get it any way they can. So infamy is better than no attention at all. Uh, correct. Correct. Like Charlie Sheen, he, he just ate that up. Yeah. He capitalized on it. I happen to think that the uh, Charlie Sheen was still the best choice for that show. Uh, was it Three and a Half Men? Two and a Half. Two and a Half Men. Would they had some Aston Coochie? Coocher. Coocher. All right, whatever. Coocher, Coochie. Hey, he has more friends on Facebook than anybody. Or well, did. well, any any celebrity who's in the spotlight is Mr. going to have. Hey, Justin Bieber's Facebook page I heard has a uh, uh, one million uh, likes. Of course, he is all the stupid, you know, punks. The little uh, teeny bopper uh, uh, girls, uh, of course, they're going to go gaga. They they don't look at the fact that the, you know, the guy, the kid's a little wise ass when he's on talk shows and he's uh, you know, he's just a, basically a little punk. 
little scorny punk. A rich punk. A rich punk, yeah. The worst guy. Heaven the worst guy. Heaven help us all. But, you know, but he treats his mom pretty good. He, uh, he shows a lot of public affection. He, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, uh, I, I have to tip my hat if I had one on my head, uh, but I, I don't because it'll give me a hat head. But I have to tip my hat to him for being nice to his mother because a lot of uh, rich stars they, they kind of forget their family and friends. A lot of them. They forget where they came from. Yeah, they forget where they came from fast. You know what they say. You meet the same people on the way up be, that you meet on the way down. Be kind to the people you meet on the way up because you're going to meet, meet the same people on the way down. Ed Norton said it on the Honeymooners. There you go. And or was it Ralph? Too. I think Ralph... No, I think Ralph said it first. And then Ed Norton says, I agree. I, I, it happens to me every day in the sewer. You know, meet people meet on the way down, on the way up. <laughs> Hold on, Ed Norton deserves in the sewer. Or, deserves ah. the levity bells. Wonder if, he, wonder if he ever picked up any alligators in the sewer. Well, or giant I, rats. I know one thing's for sure. If somebody's gonna throw a an invasive species in the New York City uh, sewer system, let it be something that will take care of the cockroaches and the rats and yet not be dangerous to humans because mm. there are tons of cockroaches and most likely rats living there. Uh, the temperature in the sewer is uh, balmy. It, it is tropical warm from what I understand and with, tropical high, smelly too. with high humidity. I would throw some house geckos in there because geckos are tropical and they're nocturnal and they they will eat the roaches uh, that would be an intelligent animal invasive creature to introduce um, house geckos they usually like house music you know when you have if you have one as a pet oh man I'm in rare form anyway um, what of course I I know we did a show about it a while ago about the um, the rather, uh, in my opinion, crooked major charities with the only like five cents, give or take, uh, to the dollar actually going to the worthy cause and the CEOs of the charities getting astronomical salaries. Uh, uh, the Hall of Shame, our uh, inductee uh, in the uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame would be the CEO um, of the Susan Coleman Breast Cancer uh, Charity. Uh, uh, I think her last name is uh, Becker. I, I should have wrote it down. Uh, Ms. Becker. Uh, she gets a whopping like $684,000 a year. Shame on you. It's a charity for God's sakes. What does, what does a paper pushing, how does a paper pushing CEO, how are they worthy of such an astronomical salary? They are not. It is a deliberate thing that occurred about 30 some years ago it's called uh, sh uh, uh, shareholder value maximization for a charity for any kind of corporation that's why i don't give to any of these charities any kind of corporation they all do it march of dimes uh uh, uh united way um they all do it uh, the american red, red cross, cross the, the yeah. ceos are astronomically paid a, a fortune it's and a, they are and, not paid according to their worth and they have a, a very large quote unquote administrative fee mm. a very large but they are not uh, paid according to their worth nope they are even a CEO when he runs the company into the ditch he gets beautiful gold parachutes golden parachute brother. great severance pays stock options, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. It's not as this whole thing has nothing to do with worth. Nothing. Has to do with what? Uh, being uh, cronyism, net, uh, being it's lucky. It's called the shareholder value maximization. So they use more that. money for the shareholders, so they will invest and therefore b b b 
shoot up the stock options, you know, what they're worth, short term. That's what it's all about. But this shareholder, this thing you just mentioned, this is this is a front or is this is for real? It's for real. This is for real. So more they, money to the shareholders means okay. more profit. Therefore, you got to cut wages. You got to cut benefits. You got to cut cut your distributors money that you pay from, like Walmart. Yeah. So anybody. So any company that that prospers and flourishes to the point where they incorporate and they go on the market, the uh, they go on the stock market. Once they go on the stock market, and they're selling shares, well, they then don't they have to be successful to do that, huh? They don't have to be successful to do that. They get an IPO and you, you they just do it. And they what just do What do you think happened with the dot coms in the nineties? They were worthless, but people were buying the stock. Netscape. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. That's why the dot coms was a bubble. It went into the ditch. As far the websites as websites were cracked. They weren't yeah. worth nothing. As far as I'm concerned, a charity, a fundraiser is just what it sounds like. And 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 a lot of the work in charity should be volunteer work. Uh, there should be no a career charity employee, so to speak. <laughs> And the CEO should be getting a very, very modest salary if they're working for a fundraising organization. And that is the honest way to run a fundraiser. Not have a, 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 most of the, the dollar bill go towards these mysterious so-called administrative fees. That's what we do in this form of capitalism. We always make more moolah for the middleman. Look at the farmers. It's the same bullshit. The middleman is the the demon of capitalism, it, it, which makes it so expensive. Look at the the power company here in the state of New Jersey, PSENG, Public Service Electric and Gas, yes. right? They don't make the energy. They don't manufacture the electricity. They they're middle they're middle people. They're they're the middleman. They 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 buy the power, the yeah, gas, even, natural gas and electricity from someone else and they screw you with the bill. Well now we got, we even have more of those companies now, more like what I call Enrons. Yeah. All, right? All they're doing is selling the energy, that, you know, that they're getting from somebody else. Right. And uh, right now they'll try to suck you in with a little, little less money paid every month, but then, you know, what happens? Remember what happened to those grannies in uh, California with Enron? You mean the little old ladies from Pasadena? Yeah. They got screwed. And the Enron uh, 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 people were laughing, chuckling how they were screwing over the grannies in California. No, they don't care. They don't care who they rip off. They don't uh, care who if somebody's living on a fixed income. And, and, and happens to be elderly, you know. But uh, hey, we're in the end times, man. We're, we're we're living in the end times, and it's only going to get worse. Um, you know, there are, but there are some people out there. You have to weed them out, but there are some uh, conspiracy theorists, and there are some libertarians, and uh, there are some people out there that are really exaggerating and kind of twisting and tweaking the truth as it applies to what's going on. Uh, uh, there are scaremongers out there, but then th then again, there's a lot of truth, too. You gotta pick and choose. You, uh, Fukushima, I think it's... it's Fuka who? Fukushima, the power plant. I think it's true that the, uh, the contaminated radioactive water is drifting towards California. And the amount of radiation is 18 times what the Japanese government said at first. I mean, I mean, yes, 18 yes. 18 times. Yeah. So, I mean, what does that mean? The the, the poor souls of, of the of the uh, country, of the island country of Japan, have to evacuate their homeland. That's exactly what it means because it's going to take millions, perhaps billions of years. For that radiation to go bye bye, which means you might as well stick a fork in that turkey. It's done. It's done. 
Well, you know, we've done the same thing with Iraq with the uh, depleted uranium left on the battlefields. What about uh, Chernobyl? Now you're going to see the cancer rates just yeah. skyrocket. What about Chernobyl? That is that a done deal too? Yeah, but Chernobyl, I did not do not think uh, had the area covered like we're talking about okay. now. Okay, well, I don't think it involved that much area. I'm surprised Japan went with nuclear energy considering what happened during World War II to them. Oh, exactly. I, I can assure you of that Westinghouse and GE paid off. were behind it. Paid off Japanese government okay. uh, uh, officials. We were behind it. Yeah, I Some mean, way, shape, or form. I mean, they, they should be they should be passionately anti-nuclear after having the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Totem. Having the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, but again, it's like what McGullet said: uh, those who uh, do not know about history repeat it. Are doomed to repeat it. Those doomed that to repeat it. those that do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Correct. Correct. And, and so many don't learn from history. Uh, look in at, this look country at those we call them Republicans. And, 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 the, and the stupidest people on God's green earth are the, the American teabagger uh, 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 right-wingers out there that believe the most ridiculous things. Uh, um, there was, an, speaking of teabaggers and, uh, and gun fanatics, somebody murdered his neighbor recently because uh, he felt that he was telepathically raping his wife. <laughs> telepathically. Like that guy at the, the, at the Navy Yard, you know, yeah. microwaves were, were frying his brain. I heard voices. Sure. Oh yeah, like, yeah. like, like David Berkowitz was saying, the devil made me do it. The dog spoke the to him. The dog spoke to him, the son of Sam. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think they showed a picture of this guy. He looked like an inbred hick. Hey, you know what I saw last night on Facebook? I what? think, I'm not sure if it was Kelly or whoever. Kelly put up this uh, obviously doctored photograph. Supposedly, this Jumboloni took this picture before the person died and, and see his soul going to heaven. <laughs> now let us sink our, our, our teeth into these readings. See what I got here. Members of the Tea Party, along with conservative and mainstream Republican members of the U.S. House of Representatives, have mounted an unending quest to prevent the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, from going into effect. Continuously reminding us that in one poll, 52% of Americans oppose the law, while 42% support it. Using the degree of public support as the basis for whether or not a bill is signed into law, shouldn't the House have voted in favor of expanded background checks for gun purchases? Since the polls show that 65% of Americans are in favor of that position, while only 29% are opposed. I'm sure I once heard something about, um, like, uh, what's good for the goose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the Republicans always say, well, the, the American people, the American people, only when it favors their position. Otherwise, they don't give a shit about them. And why, and why do they sound so idiotic and lie by constantly saying the American people don't want this and they don't want because that? And the American people don't want Obamacare. How do they know what the American people will really want? They had a poll. 52% say they don't. Unfortunately, they don't know what is in Obamacare. They, yeah. they think it's just like the gut with the guns. They think that people that can afford and have good health insurance have to, are, are going to be forced to give up their health insurance plan. Just like the that, people yeah. with the guns, they they feel that they all their guns are going to be taken away. 
Yeah, but they, they, yeah, no. innocent people's guns will be taken away. That's what Obama wants to do. Innocent law-abiding people will have to get rid of their guns. And in the case of Obamacare, they actually are, are suckered into believing that if you have health insurance and you like it, that you will be forced to give it up. Mm -hmm. And that's simply not true, right? Not true. Not true. What is true is that the corporations are trying to find ways around Obamacare so that they will not have to provide you with health insurance. Yeah, well, I, I, I notice one thing. Um, every time, right from the day one, that a Democrat is elected and is in charge of whether it be the Congress, the Senate, the White House, or states, Right from the beginning, 